Welcome back. We're going to play yet some more games on Shogi Wars. Um, thanks to Game Grammar and his crew for coming on by. Hopefully I can make some light of what we're doing here. Good luck. So, yeah, there's this game is a lot like chess. Um, one key respect in which things differ is that once pieces get exchanged, uh, they show up back on the board. You can spend a turn to drop a piece back on the board. So this makes for many extremely complex games with lots of complications. Um, so uh, it remains an open question of what's the best way to play the game. Uh, one thing that is known, however, is that computers are quite good at calculating. So, um, yeah, engines have beaten hu vested humans at this game. And we're still learning a lot from the engines at this point. Um, all right, so I'm going to make some space for my king. I'm try to get as far away from this rook as I can. And, yeah, they are playing very aggressively. Um, hmm. I could close this diagonal if my bishop has some other avenue of attack available to it. I think it does, and I have to take the square away from their bishop. Um, so, yeah, we're going to close this diagonal and reroute my bishop at this point. Oh, our opponent is attacking very aggressively. Um, okay. That's fine. I have an attack here. So it took me forever to get my attack set up, but it's not the easiest thing for them to deal with either. Okay, so I'm threatening to... threatening a lot of stuff. They've been trying to advance this rook on this file, and if I'm careless, they get to do that. Um, but if I'm careful... It's not so easy for them to stop my attacks. Um, Alright, so this activates my rook. Um, I meant to re-look at that a little bit deeper before I played it. I'm just a bit anxious because they've been playing every move instantly. And that's a bit nerve-wracking for me. But um, it's okay. So they have an extra pawn, and they're threatening to move the rook over and try to do some stuff here. They've also been trying to uh, advance in the center of the board. I'm not so convinced that that's a good idea for them. Um, so I want to activate my rook on some file. I don't really care which file. Often I move this knight too early and that gets me in trouble. We're probably going to see now some span of games where I fail to move it, and the failure to move it is what gets me in trouble. There's so many ways to lose a game. Um, so here, we're going to go attack this bishop and use our rook and hope that we don't get checkmated first. If they exchange knights and then drop the knight here again, I could attack this. Alright. Oh, yeah, so they can attack my knight more directly. Their king is quite exposed, but maybe it's not the end of the world. Um, we're going to hit this bishop first, and then figure out the rest later. So we're still hitting the bishop. Okay, the bishop continues to be hit over and over. It's a target for repeated attack, and that's the motif here. All right, they finally sacrifice it, and so I've gained a bishop and maybe lost my king. But I got the bishop. Nanafun. All right, so we block this attack. 
And so now, if either of the generals moves here, I could take the one general, they take back with another, and my king has to run. But my king's a good runner. He's got a lot of experience running from attacks. Um, which maybe says something about whether or not I should defend a bit better in the first place. Um, if I drop a pawn here... Actually, the rook is hanging. This rook itself is a target of my attack. But they're threatening to bring the silver next to my king first. But if I drop a pawn, they drop a pawn. I've done nothing to stop them from attacking. Um, a pawn, pawn, and then my king starts running, they take, and it promotes. That's no good. Um, okay, let's, let's take on, let's assume the silver is going to advance, and it does, and assume that I'm not checkmated here. Um, all right, so I run. Oh, pieces promote in this game, by the way. That's kind of a relevant detail. You want to remember that. Um, yeah, I thought my king would be able to run diagonally up when they move the silver, but I forgot that the silver promotes. So I could be in a universe of danger, but it's, maybe it's fine. They need other pieces to complement their attack, and so I better not give them other pieces if I want to get out of this. Alright, so if I attack this, it moves over. I mean, I should repel this if I don't want them to continue invading. I have to take, reclaim my territory. They might drop a pawn to support this, and we could exchange, and I gain material that way. No, instead they continue targeting my king. If I start running, they could drop another pawn. Um, I don't know that I have a great way to stop the bond drop altogether. They could also drop a knight here. It's actually, um, yeah, let's, Go let's attack this. We're also hitting this castle here, but I think more importantly, we're trying to defend our king. Oh, right. I thought I would just take this for free. That's not free to capture. Um, I might have to take it, but I might not. So I'm going to defend the square in front of my king, so it's not checkmate in one. And so I exchange off one piece to get two pieces. And so hopefully that makes my king a little bit safer. Um, I could take a knight if I'm greedy. Or I could just retreat and protect my king. I mean, I am greedy. But defending my king looks important, too. But sometimes the best defense is a good offense. I don't see anything concretely wrong with this. So... Yeah, I'm going to take a knight and then retreat. Um, hmm. Oh, this silver doesn't have a lot of spaces to go to. Um... My king doesn't have a lot of spaces to go to. That seems more important than some silver. Alright, let's take the lance as well. A lance would be a good piece to resist against this attack. But also I'm covering the largest diagonal. So if my king runs away, then... Um, uh, 
then they don't necessarily get to invade immediately. But yeah, I need to attack instead of sitting by sidelines here. Um, Sampun. All right, my king goes forward. And the idea is that I'm going to run away. And my king is not safe in the corner, but it will be safe, surrounded by all its fellow pieces. Um, Hmm, that's not easy to deal with. Um, okay, let's take it. This makes a target of my rook and of my lance, so they could like, drop a bishop right here. If they do drop a bishop, that's another piece I'll have to attack with, but means they'll have a rook they can attack with. It's okay. Nihun Sanjibyo. Um So I run away. And they're gonna give me the bishop for a rook. Um and they do. So then I attack right next to their king. If they move this rook up, I could return the favor and exchange my bishop back for a rook here. But I should also be trying to checkmate the king where it stands. Um, Nifun. Okay, this simultaneously defends everything and attacks everything. Um, except for that. So they did get a gold general. Okay. We'll just use this bishop all the way up here, because why not? Um, it can attack and defend at the same time. And here it's cutting off the king's escape, so... If somehow I deliver a check, it's much more likely to be mate now. Um, don't know how I'm going to check them, though. This gold general does well defending the head of the structure, so... Even if I do end up taking a rook, one rook might not be enough to win this. I could drop a pawn here next. No, that's not it. Hmm. All right, that is a fork. I'll take this and run away. Running is so cowardly. Um, but occasionally it can be quite profitable. So... I have everything defending this point. Yeah, they find a different point to attack. Um, we try to hit the king's head. They're going to block. We aim this way instead. Take another piece. 
Um, I'm not sure how to continue. Maybe I should have taken this one. I'm in severe time pressure. Mm, that's not good. And silver takes. Okay, let's get all the pieces attacking. Thanks for the game. That was intense. One down, two to go. Good luck. Alright, so can I attack first? That looks like an attack. Um, if I drop a pawn, silver takes, I take the knight, they take my rook, I take a rook. That looks okay. I take the knight, and then I take this. I've lost two big pieces, so... Yeah, let's try this. This looks interesting. And now I understand why the gold general is here in this shape. It defends against rook drops. So, incredibly, somehow my position is holding together. Yeah, I think it was um, Alexi who reminded me about this idea of called American Opposing Rook. 
I'm not sure that I played it correctly. My silver never made it to this square. But I played some decent moves this game. Um, so this bishop wants to promote and make things very complicated. Um, All right, I vacate this square so I can drop a rook. Maybe I should have vacated by retreating. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does matter. Um, either way, this is where we are now. So I have a dragon and a horse, and I've just collected a silver. But they have a horse, and my king is in the center, and they could do some things here, presumably. What it is that they can do, I'm not yet sure. But it's rare to find an opponent who has no resources. No, he reminded me that there was this idea called American Opposing Rook. Uh, perhaps I'm a bad student. Um, so I tried to play something kind of similar and I got too excited and this is where we are. Not that this is a terrible position, I don't think it is, but it's not what anybody banked on this morning. Um, Okay, so I don't want to just let that corrode. Hmm. There's so many ways they can attack this. Who knew? All right, we'll try to solidify this. Hmm, that's clever. So if I move my... Well, that's my dragon, not my horse. So if I try to trap their bishop or horse, things get difficult. Um, but this pawn blocks their rook, so... I'm not the only player who has challenges or things to figure out in this position. I guess maybe they're trying to collect my knight. Which seems a little strange. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to try to confine this horse and checkmate the king, even if that requires losing all three of these pieces. But if I do lose these pieces, uh, hopefully I don't get mated. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and here I have two options. One... Hmm. I've got multiple. I can pursue this. Which doesn't go anywhere. That was my plan A. Um, plan B is chase this rook. It's not that hard to chase. Um, C was reinforced this night.
五分。I'm confused. Alright, I'm gonna assume that's reasonable. Maybe it's not. Somehow having all these pieces floating around my camp makes me nervous. Don't know why. But they can only take one of my pieces at a time. They could drop right between them and try to take my gold. And then I could take here, they take my gold, and I drop something there. Or we could go here. Oh, they have a silver drop. But here, I... Where do I want to drop this lance? I think here. Um... Yeah, well then they take this. Hmm. Alright, so... Tactics, tactics everywhere. I've given them a knight. Just to make things exciting. Um. Wait, if they drop the knight, I can just take it. So they're going to try to scare my dragon off of this rank so that I can't take this for free. Welcome. Or, yeah, they're just going to... Finally, um, try to calm down the position a little bit. I mean, if I'd taken there, I don't know what would have happened. I don't think I've defended adequately against every possible brick drop. So I have some idea how bad things could be. Um, okay, they can drop in front of a pawn. And as we learned, pieces promote when um, they reach the other side. They don't have a lance, so I could just take this. Um, so I take it. There's a saying about bring the horse to your own camp and uh, the dragon to your opponent's camp. And I seem not to be following that. Alright, they're preparing a night fork. Again, that's another pawn that I could take. Um, Alright, we're going to take it. They're trying to set up some thinner tactic here. Yeah. Um. Sampun. Oh, now the silver can drop, and then they have a fork that wins my gold. So I finally set up the combination that gives them the piece they wanted. They finally get what they want. If I'd taken this directly, it would have been much the same. But, um... 
at some point, maybe I can clear the way for my king. Okay, that's an interesting way to pursue this. Um, Alright, my horse isn't doing anything. Let's get rid of it. So we hit this weakness. Uh, then it can promote here, move over, drop bishop, and that's a fork. Let's not try anything tricky. Let's just give my dragon somewhere to escape to. Being careful not to fall for a fork here. So I'll actually need to step aside before doing... Oh, actually, they just dropped the silver. So they aren't going to drop the silver right in front of my rook and force it up the board um, into this fork. See, they don't have a knight in hand, they don't have a silver in hand, so I can calm down a little bit. Um, okay. Also, there's not going to be some trick here. They did defend their... my attempt to do some kind of creative work. Um... Okay, I want to take this gold general. Welcome. So we've maybe entered an endgame. Um, one I could prepare better for by making an escape for my king, but I don't see it being necessary. Or even helpful. Um... No, I should make this escape. I just question they're going to drop a pawn to stop my attack at some point. Um, like They're going to build a stronger castle, and I don't know how I deal with that. This bishop attacks in this direction and in this direction, so I need to be careful. If I try to prepare an escape, it's not necessarily going to be an escape. It might just be another path in for them to attack me. But yeah, this idea of moving 
this uh, promoted lance right next to their castle. Should have some punch. I just don't know that it has enough. Ipun. Okay. Yeah, you talked me into it. Although this is blocking the bishop. So I could have just taken this pawn. Um. But okay, we're going to stick with the plan. The plan is, when necessary, take this rook, but it shouldn't, hopefully it shouldn't be necessary. I didn't see this coming. Um. Oh, it's mate in one. It's also mate in one. Thanks for the game. Bummer. I got careless. Good luck. Oh, it's an bishop exchange, so I should be careful about pushing the center pawn. That's right. Um. Interesting. I was certain they're going to drop a bishop, um, even though I don't think it does a whole lot. Um, but they didn't. So here we are. Let's activate my rook. Yeah, last game. This the way this website works is quite exciting. Um, doesn't necessarily make for the best games, but it can be quite entertaining. Um, all right, I'm taking this, and then I promote. I'm threatening your gold. I'm threatening your knight. This is not a pleasant position for my opponent. I think they have to move this gold up, and then I retreat, and I have a horse. They can drop the rook and do their own attack, and that's fine. I think I'm fine. Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shogi books. Uh, yeah. Now we're doing science here. Um, which is learning through trial and error. Lots and lots and lots of error. Um, science would suggest that maybe I should pick a different path. Like here, I didn't need to let him win a knight for nothing. It just happened. But, um... Let's see. Oh, or rather, even a bishop for nothing, you know? That's about the same, right? Um, okay, let's maybe defend our king this game. We might need that, now that we've given away a bishop for nothing. Yes, this is Shogi Wars. Although I think you're a polling uh, audience member. I might have said the wrong site name a second ago. I might be a bit flustered. As you can tell from my monotone voice. Um, now they just trap their bishop. So let's win it. Yes, I call this uh, series Dan Plays Japan. Um, I might not make one Don anytime soon, but that doesn't change my name. So. Um, yeah, once I get a bishop, if they've done something crazy, uh, who knows where I might eat, drop it. I sure don't. It's not great that my bishop's in the corner, but winning a bishop is not bad. Yeah. The website here actually has this extremely, extremely catchy tune, uh, which I have disabled. Um, but uh, yeah, it is possible to play on the site with some... Not just the super dramatic piece pounding effects and animations. You can also get this tune that just never stops. Ever. Um, so yeah, they've thought of that. Um, but this way I let you listen to your own music and pay your own composer. Because I don't know. Like, if I'm playing this online and restreaming it, I don't know if the composer gets paid for each performance. Um, I doubt they do. Alright, so I can attack the rook. It moves over and then I can take this. Wait, if I attack the rook, they might push again. I take this for free. Then they promote and take my bishop next, but I've gotten a rook and a bishop. Yes, yeah, so this is not bad. If they move the rook over, hitting this... If I take here, if they push, I think all the tactics work out. Nanafun. Also, I could hit the rook directly first. But then they take the knot, or they move the rook here. Yeah, so we take this first, and then we hit the rook, and then escape the bishop. It's a delicate dance. Alright, so we've gotten a rook. We have successfully undeadified ourselves out of this opening. That's a word now. Um, now, what can we do with the rook? Hey, there's a square. Um, that's a bit reckless of me, because they could move their rook back to defend. And they do. 
Um, if I drop back here, I could do another rook drop. All right, I think that's my best use of time here. So if they take my lance, I take their lance, and I'm going to take all their stuff. If they move that, I could drop my rook in the corner again. They could do a rook drop to counter my rook drop. Um, maybe that's not so smart. Because I don't have something to hit the rook next. Actually, I do. Yeah, no, this is fine. So if they drop here, I drop a pawn. Lance takes, knight takes, knight takes, rook takes, or rather I take here at some point. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, some of this stuff that's in other languages, mostly Japanese, it's not easily searchable. Um. All right. Whee! This should be interesting. I think they missed that this was hanging. This is a game where we both miss Go lots home. of things. Um, now, if I take, they could actually defend their castle. That's... <sighs> How patient am I? If I'm impatient, I start taking everything. And I don't think I have enough to mate there. Incredibly. All right, so we're going to collect the lance next. Oh, I didn't see they could do that. That's quite clever. So... All right, I dodge your lance. My whole point is I wanted to drop a pawn here and get their lance next, but maybe they did read this out. It's scary, but, um, yeah, they've repelled my attack, and I still don't have a castle to speak of. And if some fork happens, I've lined up my dragon to lose it, so shouldn't allow forks to happen. Um, okay, I'm going to defend this gold general. Uh, I do want to somehow attack this, which is why I lined this up over here. I intend to push this next. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, that actually hits my weakness. So I better defend. <sighs> Not sure how best to defend that.
3分。A little birdie's telling me to do this. I really want that knight for my attack, but I don't have much of a choice there. Yeah, that trade been profited them.、Um, so I want a lance.、Um, oh wow, I'm just hanging everything today. Check that out. So. All right, I'm taking this as planned. Then we'll hit the king's head directly. This will force them to try to do something to defend their king. This might not be the right direction to attack.、Um, They have lots of pieces they can use to block my rooks. Like that one. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be at least a little bit careful here. Right, I'll exchange. You've talked me into it. I'll exchange this too. So we sacrifice the knight to try to get time to attack. Maybe I should have brought my silver up to defend this. I am cooked. I am super duper dead here. Um.
My attack is going nowhere, and their attack is speedily progressing. Jubio Thanks for the game. Well played. All right, that makes three games for today, at least by my count. Hopefully my count is still accurate. So, yep, just like chess, there's no mercy on the clock. So, um, decades ago, chess players remedied that by introducing delay and increment. Um, Shogi, at least this particular website, has yet to remedy that, so... It matters that you make your moves quickly, or that you uh, spend your time appropriately throughout the game. Hope you enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.